Today I'm showing you my income report for November 2021. Hello home bosses, my name is Nuria Corby from thehomeboss.com. Welcome to my channel which is all about helping you to make money online. And in today's video I want to show you my income report for last month which is November 2021. So not long ago I asked on my YouTube channel whether people like income reports or they don't like income reports and the majority said that they would like income reports and I understand why some people don't like income reports because I think sometimes it can be a little bit depressing or it can seem a little bit unreal that somebody can create this income with a few books on Amazon KDP but I'm not making these income reports to brag or to to show you this is my income report. I'm doing this because I'm hoping that it can show you what's possible with Amazon KDP because don't forget I only started in November 2019 and I didn't expect anything and I created this business just by working really hard and creating books that people want to buy and I don't see any reason why you can't do the same but I will say it is hard work so if anybody thinks that this is a way of making quick and easy money it definitely isn't it really is hard work you have to put in the hours you have to put in the time you have to research quite a lot to be able to target the right markets and uh, you do need to learn about design and get better in time so it's not like you can quickly make a notebook put it on Amazon and then suddenly you sit back and you start watching the money coming in that's not how it works and uh, I want people to know this I don't want you to think that it's an easy way to make money it's easy to create notebooks and to put them on Amazon but it's not that easy to sell them <laughs> so you do need to put a lot of work into your research part of the business as well so as long as you follow those things as long as you follow the rules that Amazon sets work hard research your market and uh, make some good books that are visually attractive and that are well designed and yes you can make an income the same that I have made on Amazon and I know that it's not easy I know that a lot of people are making quality books and they're still not selling but there are reasons for that usually it's because the keywords are not the the best keywords for your books sometimes it's the cover design as simple as that what we think as a good design might not be what our customers think of as a good design so you do need to to learn and the only way to learn is to keep creating keep making books and learn what works and learn what doesn't work so the books that are not selling don't continue making the same kind of books try something different that's what I did and if anybody wants to know how I did it I have made lots of videos about my journey I have one video that shows you my first year on KDP and it is a roller coaster it's up and down up and down now this quarter four I made a really big mistake and I made this mistake throughout the year this quarter four could have been a lot better for me but I made a big mistake and the mistake was that I didn't publish enough books on Amazon I didn't publish any more books on Amazon so all my sales come from the same books that I had published last year I only made about two or three children's books and that was it I haven't added any more books to my to my bookshelf so what happens when you stop making books and you don't add any more books to your inventory well I tell you what happened nothing bad happened I'm still making sales and I'm really happy because the sales that I got are all passive income because I haven't created any new books and I actually made the same or more or less the same money that I made 
last quarter for so i'm going to show you what i earned in november and um, i will make a video about my december income we're still in december now so it hasn't finished yet so i'm waiting to see what happens now that we're approaching christmas i'm expecting my sales to drop off because as long as your books show a delivery date before christmas you can still sell them but once the delivery date shows it's a delivery after christmas then it's really time to stop your ads and to relax and enjoy christmas and not think about your books because that is when the sales start diminishing but at the moment my delivery still shows um, delivery on the 23rd of December so I'm still selling quite a few books and I think that this December is actually probably a little bit better than last December but I made the mistake of not producing any more books so when I was thinking of this year's quarter four I thought I would have a really good quarter four and a better quarter four than last year and that is not the case. My quarter four is more or less the same as last year. And I really feel angry with myself because I should have produced more books and I didn't. So how can I expect quarter four to be better this year when I haven't added any books to my inventory? So that's a mistake that I made. And I think the message that I want to give you all is to keep producing books. I know that the quantity of books has nothing to do with the number of sales. You know, it is not the case that you have to make a lot of books to get sales. In fact, it's the opposite. Make less books, but make better books. So the amount of books doesn't matter. But of course, it is good if you can add more books to your to your bookshelf because you never know what kind of book will take off and will be successful so i've already got a plan on what kind of books i'm going to make next year i'm going to concentrate on creating more books because last year what happened is that i created my course my children's book course and i also took youtube more seriously i created more videos and all of that takes a lot of time away from from producing more books. I'm very active in the Facebook group. That takes a lot of time away from creating books. So I think for next year, I'm going to prioritize creating books because that is where my main income comes from. So I feel that I should really concentrate on what is creating the best income for me. And that is without a doubt, my KDP books. So I really need to concentrate on that more, create more books for next year so that next quarter four will be better than this quarter four. So there's no secret. If you create more books, you have more chances of getting a, a bestseller. And by the way, I had my first bestseller this week in one of the categories. That's never happened to me before. I nearly got there last year in December. I nearly had a number one bestseller, but it didn't happen in the end. But this year, yesterday, I had my first bestseller. So I'm really happy about that. And I'm kind of celebrating a little bit. And uh, I hope that happens to you as well. There's no reason why any of this can't happen to you. I know that when people watch these income reports, it looks as if it's easy because we're making a video showing you what we've earned and we're not making a video about the work that went into it and we're not making a video about how long it took to get here so it looks easy but it wasn't so i don't want you to to feel that what you're doing is wrong because you haven't achieved this yet i didn't achieve this overnight it took me a long time to get to this level so i was at the same level that you are now and you know if i can do this you can do this as well it just takes a lot of time a lot of effort and a lot of work and also what i very often do is i go to bookstores have a look at what the best sellers are in each bookstore and then i get ideas for the kind of books that i can make so i've already got a few ideas for next year for books that i'm going to create and i'm really excited about it i kind of missed creating books so i'm really happy that i'm going to get back into it and create more books but the lesson that i have learned from all of this is that 
it really is good to keep creating if you want to increase your earnings because you are creating more opportunities for yourself. The other thing that I've learned is that even without creating any more books, my income is still coming in. My books are still selling. So it is true passive income after a while because there is no such thing as passive income because you put in a lot of work before it becomes passive income. But now that I have done the work and my books are for sale, now it is passive income because I can just wake up in the mornings and in the last few days I've had days where I've sold $500 worth of books overnight. So that is truly passive income, but you do need to put in the work before that. So anybody that thinks this is easy, it's not easy. But if you're willing to put in the work, this is fantastic because there are lots of jobs where you work and work and work and you're not getting this kind of result. So I think that it's worth the work that you put into it. So let me show you what I've earned last month in November. And uh, like I said, I mean, I expected more, but I don't know why I expected more when I didn't create any more books. So I'm still very happy with this result. I think it's a phenomenal result for me. I enjoy this work and it's the best job that I ever had. I so much prefer to do this than to work in an office or to do any of the other jobs that I've had before. So don't look at this as me showing off or bragging because it's not really all that to brag about, but it's a way to show you that you can do it too. Because if I can do it, you can do it too. And I keep saying that because I have done nothing other than working hard at it and learning. You do need to learn a lot in this business. Keep reading the Amazon terms and conditions. Familiarize yourself with the whole process. If you want to create low content books, I've got a video series that is completely free and it walks you through creating your first notebook on Amazon KDP step by step. So if you follow those videos and you create your own book alongside it, you can have your own book on Amazon KDP. And for those of you who have already been doing this for a while and you're not seeing the results, keep trying different things. This is what I used to do. You know, I didn't see results straight away. It took a long time and I worked really hard at it. I tried to research better, find different keywords, but also make different kind of books. If notebooks aren't selling for you, there are so many notebooks out there. Try something different. Try logbooks instead or journals or prompted journals. I find that books with a little bit higher content sell so much better than notebooks. Saying that there are people who make money selling notebooks, no doubt about it, but it's much more difficult. If you try different things, you will find the thing that works for you. And that's the other thing. What works for me doesn't necessarily work for you. So you could have a different kind of niche that your buyers resonate with. I don't know why that is, but I find that everybody has a different niche that they are good at. Maybe it's something that you understand better. So for example, I love gardening and I've got a lot of gardening planners and they sell well, maybe because I love gardening and I understand what I want from a gardening planner. So think about niches that you are good at, that you understand. But anyway, let's go straight into our income report so you can see what I'm talking about. So now we're on my KDP dashboard and you can see my income from the 1st of November to the 30th of November 2021 was $4,947.49. Now, I'm really happy with this amount, really happy, but I expected more for quarter four. And like I said, I made a big mistake because I didn't add any more books. So I don't know why I was expecting more income when I had the same amount of books that I had last year. So in total, I have got 512 books. So it's not a lot compared to other people. And I don't believe that the quantity is really relevant. I think you can have quite a few sales with less books. You just have to have good quality books, better books. And by good quality, I mean books that people want to buy, that have good covers, that have good interiors, not the same interior as somebody else. There are a lot of books 
on Amazon that have all the same interiors, try to make yours different. That is what makes your books stand out and that is why people are going to buy your books and not somebody else's. So this is my gross income. Of course we now have to deduct ad spend and I did advertise my books to begin with in November but I switched my ads off because I was spending a lot of money and not really getting a very good result for my ads. My ACOS was really high and then I figured out that it was probably because of Halloween because I think people were concentrating on Halloween and not really buying a lot of um, a lot of books. They were clicking on my books and I had a lot of clicks but not a lot of sales. So what I did is by about mid-November I switched my ads off. So what I spent in ads was about $500, just under $500. So my net earnings for November are 4947 minus around 500 so it's still a good amount. It's still um, something that I'm very proud of and it's great. But I know that I can do better. And I think for next year my plan is to create more books. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to concentrate on the books that are selling and I'm going to make similar books. Not the same books, but I'm going to use the same niche and make books that complement the books that are already selling so that when people buy one of my books they can have a look and see that there's a similar book that they might also like to buy. So also you can see that my sales increased steadily towards the end of the month. So you can also see that the last day was the best day in November for me and that day I sold 524 dollars worth of books. That was my best day in November and in December so far it has continued to be on that level and December is going to be a really good month for me and I will create a December income report for you to have a look at as well. So this is my income report for November and like I said I made a big mistake this year not producing any more books or not producing many books. And uh, that's a lesson to me and hopefully a lesson to you as well. I'm not saying produce lots of books. You know that I always say don't create too many books, create better books, create quality books. Do your research, spend time creating your interior, spend time creating your cover and make your books different to all of the other books on Amazon. And that takes time. So I'm not saying create lots and lots of notebooks or lots and lots of logbooks, you know, that's not how you're going to get the sales. But if you take your time and you create more books, then you will find the kind of books that sell for you and then you can create more books in those niches and build your business from there. But I didn't do that, so I can't expect my quarter four to be better than last year because I didn't add any books. But the other thing that I find really interesting, and this is something that's actually a, a positive thing about it, is that even though I didn't put any more books on, because sometimes people think, well, what happens if I stop creating books? Nothing happens. <laughs> you, you still sell the books that you have created. If your books were selling, they will continue to sell. So it's nice to see that this is a passive income stream. I made all this income from books that I created last year, not this year. And that is really reassuring to know. And I hope that this reassures you as well, that if for any reason you stop creating your books, you can still make sales with the books that you have already uploaded on Amazon. So that's a good thing. But I'm still going to create more books next year. I'm not going to stop here and I'm going to experiment with different kinds of books and I'm also going to make companion books for the kind of books that are already selling so that it's in a in the same niche but a different kind of book. So there is a lot that I can do next year to improve my my earnings and this is why I'm showing you my income reports. It's not because I want to show off. It's because I want to motivate you and I want to show you what happens if you stop creating books or what happens 
when you start creating more books, which is hopefully what I will show you in my future income reports. I hope that it serves as motivation more than anything because I used to love watching income reports and I still do. I love watching people earning big bucks on KDP because it encourages me and it motivates me and I know it takes time and I know it takes hard work. When we make these videos it looks easy because all you see is the result of the hard work that went into it. You don't see the other side of it, which is the hours and hours that we spend creating books. You don't see the hours and hours that we spent researching and you just see the result as I present it to you. But please know that this is a result after many months of creating books and after many hours of working very hard. So anybody that thinks this is easy, it's not that easy. It's easy to create a notebook, I will say that, and it's easy to publish it on Amazon, but it's not so easy to sell it. And that's what we ultimately want. We want to get the sales. So to get the sales, we have to put in the work. And I hope that this video motivates you and inspires you to put in that work. And if you haven't published any low content books on Amazon yet, I'm going to leave you a video series, a playlist here that you can follow. They are six videos. They are absolutely free to watch and you can create your own notebook alongside it and upload your notebook onto Amazon KDP. And once you've done that, you can make other types of books and it's so much easier once you get to know the process. I would suggest make a notebook to start with because that is the easiest way to do it. Make a few more to learn the process, but then as soon as you can, make other type of books because they will do better for you than notebooks. Some people sell a lot of notebooks. I know that's true, but it's not so easy. So try other types of books and I think that will be a better chance for you to sell your books as well. I have lots of different types of books. I don't make many notebooks. I used to in the beginning and uh, I don't think they sell very well for me. So now I make other types of books. So watch the playlist if you want to create your, your own notebook on Amazon. And if you've already created lots of books, and uh, your books aren't selling very well, then keep watching my videos. I've got lots of tips and tricks and things that you shouldn't do as well to help your sales along. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.